Hi, friends. I got a box in the mail just now. Well, not the mail. From UPS. That's not the mail, right? You wouldn't say. Maybe you would. Oh, I should have had my knife at a slightly lower depth because this is a big box. Did I order this much ink? Nothing. So, I have a favorite fabric designer, at least of quilting fabrics. And she came out um, I mean, she comes out with two new lines a year. So I got some. So first, we'll look at um, quilting. If you make a quilt, you know, you have the front part that's usually like pieces you sew together. Then you have the layer of like cotton fluffy bits, the, the batting that goes in the middle. I don't have any here to show you. And then you have a backing. And uh, a big, quilts are big. And so it's really nice if you can get fabric that is wide for your backing, in case you don't know about fabric. So she has this. Now I don't like bugs, but these are like graphic designy enough that they don't bother me. This is her wide backing fabric. And um, I'll show you in the smaller scale so you can get an idea what it looks like. But this is a cotton sateen. It's so nice. Honestly, if the print, I could make clothing out of this. And there's a part of me that would love that. <laughs> so this will be the back of a quilt one day, unless I make clothing, but I probably won't. And then there's two other lines of fabric that she came out with and they coordinate. So I'm gonna pull them out of the box throw the box on the floor where it'll stay for far too long. Um, so first, this is tool, uh, designer's tool of pink. It's her new line, Tiny Beasts. And the thing that she's known for is kind of hiding animals inside her prints. Um, so... It was like, people couldn't handle it when she first started doing it. They were like, what are you doing? Your stuff is weird. They weren't ready for her. Some of us were here for it. I didn't quilt them, but I've liked her, her fabric since before then. So, here's a quick look at Tiny Beast. So, um, when we go out of order, No, I won't. So I got a half yard of each of these because, of course I did. Because a half yard's kind of a lot. It's enough that you're like, not afraid to use it. So, this is that ladybug print, but on a, I'm gonna call that a white background, I think. Yeah, on a white background. So you can see the back showing through, but it repeats at this midpoint. So, fabulous. Who doesn't love a good rainbow? We all do. Um, and then, the next one, I think this is called Trash Bandits. Let's see. Has a name written on here. Well, I don't know, but they're raccoons and see like that's their trash can and there's like hidden like fish bones and I think somewhere there's a soda can. Anyway, super dope. Um, I saw her do, if you, if you like this fabric, Tula Pink has an Instagram and they do videos on there. I don't have Instagram so I can't always watch them. Um, I don't, it's, I don't remember what this is called. What's it say? Oh, nuts. It's squirrels, which I have to tell you, I kind of hate. 
like squirrels. I think the fabric's pretty. And then here's what that backing fabric looks like. Same color. Oh, I can't take too long. I have, I'm making tea eggs. And so they're downstairs. The liquid is uh, simmering away right now. So here's that on that kind of aqua background. I'm going to call it aqua. I love this so much. I, uh, quilting cotton is not very good for clothing or I would probably make clothes out of it more. Um, this is the O Nuts in with like a very bright lime or chartreuse background, which is amazing. Um, and then what's this one called? Look at the, does it say? I didn't get the part of the cell. Oh, I think it's called Dear John. I think it was a part of the cell, which has a name. But uh, they're a bunch of deers. Like, amazing. And the background is a pretty, like, we'll call it goldenrod. Because why not? It's a California poppy color. That's the color it is. Thanks, Tula. California represent. Um, This one is, what's it called? We didn't, I didn't get the name of it. I'll let you know. But it has a bunch of foxes. At first, if you just look, you may not see them. It just may look floral. But, like, there's a fox. And then, this one's owls, I think. Wait, is it? Ugh, there's a bug. Don't let me kill me with these bugs. That's my problem. Something me... Oh, no, it's a bear. Duh, Maria, it's a bear. And then you got a little bee because they like honey. I like bees okay. I mean, they're still kind of scary, but they make honey, and I love honey. And then we have that same deer print and this pink, kind of a light orchid background color. And... See, does this have the name on it? Outfoxed. <laughs> God. This one is like, if I was a fabric. Except it's not my favorite color. Everybody's like, oh, pink. Maria, I love it. Yeah, I like pink, but the blues are my favorite. Um, And then here's our, am I right? There's trash pandas. Does this say? Oh no, it's called One Man's Trash. One Man's Trash is the raccoon one. Um, and then here's our, our bear one again. Let's see if we, this has the name on it. Oh, it does. Bear With Me. <laughs> Tula. I just, yeah. I don't know if we'd be friends, but I, I think I'd love to hang out with her for a bit. Um... This one's called Who's Your Dandy? And uh, it's a little dandelion and porcupine or hedgehog. I'm not sure if I know the difference. And then the same one in a dark color. This would be such a great shirt. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I gotta hurry because I can smell that tea egg solution. Uh, maybe, you know what? I'm gonna pause and then go turn the stove off. Came back. It would have been fine. It wasn't even simmering, so maybe I should have left it, but I didn't. Uh, let's cut this open carefully. And now this set here is the coordinates that go with it. And honestly, these should go with all of her fabrics pretty much because she's tried to unify her color palette, or so she says, on her, on her Instagram. I really like, I want to like find a way to contact her and just say like, hi, number one, please make fabric for clothing. And number two, please post your videos on YouTube too. So like other people can watch them, not just people with Instagram. Anyway, so this is tiny dots and tiny stripes. She has, I don't have them here. She has bigger, fatter stripes wider stripes and bigger dots 
these are like different colors but the same concept so I'm not gonna open these but we have like fuchsia pink on I said it looks like cream and not white yeah the cream and not white and then a gray and yellow I don't I wonder if Katie still likes that my sister-in-law really liked Grello for a while and this is an aqua with a lavender and a darker this may be a, like a teal and a a light yellow a butter yellow mmm who doesn't love butter then this to me looks like a, a light orchid with a gray also but it could be a blue it's hard to tell you know the lighting in here isn't good and then also your eyes play tricks on you this is that is this the same color maybe the light pink and then the dots on this I can't tell I think it's a coral not quite red not quite orange not quite pink and this to me is a a bright yellow with a lavender dot this is like making my eyes do weird things if I look at it and move um man uh, it's a lime green with aqua and here we have a well maybe that's a chartreuse or a, an acid and then this is lime with purple or possibly indigo and then we have this is such a classic combination orange and pink so good and then this is kind of a melon color with maybe cream dots purple and red a blue periwinkle in aqua. I'm going to call that periwinkle because this is blue with a pink or maybe an orchid. And then purple and pink. And then pink and purple. Different, different pink. And then, mm, is this red and li lilac maybe or lavender? Could also be a light blue. This, gosh, I love this. This might be my favorite. This blue is like the blue. That maybe like a phthalo blue or a cerulean blue and the stripes on it are lime. It's so cheery and perfect. I love this too. This is a teal with a lime on it as well. Oh, oh, hear the bells. Then a kind of grass green and purple like a light lavender and red and hmm I'm not sure what color those dots are light pink perhaps and sort of an eggplant or aubergine with a pink pull out, pull out all your color words for this one this to me is a royal purple and the dots are like a light very light lime green and then a forest green with aqua so what am I gonna do with all this hoard it and not use it and then keep thinking wow I should really use that that's probably what's gonna happen I do actually have a quilt pattern that I want to make where are you can I reach you I've been thinking about it It's a hand sewn quilt and it's anyway, there's my patterns are under here and it's called Tula Nova and I got to figure it out. I got to figure out where all the pieces will go and which fabrics I need. And at any rate, I have a lot of tulip pink fabric now. So the other thing I want to do is make a different quilt that's like rainbows, sort of like rainbowy. It doesn't matter. I know what I want. It's fine. I have fabric. Very happy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye.